Terraria is a 2D action-adventure sandbox video game developed by Relogic and released in 2011. Available on PC and console, Terraria has sold over 20 million copies, making it one of the most popular video games ever. Today, I interviewed John Daniel, aka Sash, who has clocked over 8,000 hours and soon to be ranked number one in the world. Hello again, I'm Paul Goldie for General Gaming. In my last interview with John, we discussed the role of technology in graphic design and tips for those starting out. A graphic designer, a veteran in social media and veteran gamer, John and I have been friends for over eight years. Today we'll be discussing his climb to becoming the number one ranked Terraria player on the planet. Welcome and thank you for your time. So, let me just ask, what's it taken to get to number one? How many hours, days, what's it cost you? Well, um, I've currently invested 8,000 hours into Terraria over two and a half years, which is uh, probably a bit more than is healthy, maybe? A lot of game hours, yeah, yeah. a lot of game hours. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely dedicated to the cause. But practice makes perfect, definitely. Definitely, you know, you look at the top Koreans that play StarCraft, they're doing exactly the same thing. Now, um, just quickly, what tips do you give for, for new players starting out in Terraria? Uh, well, there's, it depends on the player. Okay. If you're uh, if you're going to be playing casual, like play softcore, uh, start from the start. Don't don't go online and accept items from different people because there's a lot there's a lot of people out there that will just give you like end game items straight away, and you know that's just ruining the fun, isn't it? Like, I mean, you can take it if you want. There's no a lot of people consider it cheating, but it's not a cheat because it's like within the legal boundaries of the game yep. sort of thing so it's you're really just uh harming yourself by doing that uh but in that case like because there are people that just want to do that and what i usually do is I'll, I'll i'll find them first and i'll be like look i'll give you the items that you want but first of all i want to teach you how to use them because, you know, there's too many noobs running around like, ah, oh, with <laughs> endgame weapons and they don't know what they're doing, like... So there's those people, you know, softcore, casual, like, stick with it, do that. But if you're serious, like... You're start, looking for a real challenge? Yeah, if you're looking for something that it will challenge you, because this game, like, in Hardcore Expert, makes Dark Souls look like kindergarten. It really Facts. does. Yeah. Facts. Fact. Like... It took me 3,800 hours to complete the game. And and to be honest, I mean, you're not uh, a noob. You're an experienced gamer of, you know, no. probably 20 years almost now. Yeah. So, yeah. Master StarCraft player, top 10 Street Fighter. Yeah, like, you know, I've seen you met plenty of people's butts. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Now, um, what's been one of the, you know, I guess, biggest joys of, of getting this far along in Terraria? Um, What's been one of the highlights, apart from, you know, the Easter egg, the bug, and, and of course, your huge fan base? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, the fact that it's a challenge, it's pushed you? Well, I've never found a game like I still, to this day, get scared if I'm going to die. Like, I genuinely freak out, you know? And that is a big thing, considering I've been playing it for 8,000 hours. Like... People are like, how can you play it for that long? Like, aren't you bored? And I'm just like, no, I'm not at all. Because, you know, it's actually that difficult that it's always a change. Like, nothing will ever freeze your blood. Like, you know, you're flying along <laughs> thinking you're a mad dog. You've, like, got all the sick stuff. And then a Medusa's, like, stones you. And you just, like, fall to the ground. You're like, oh! And you just shatter. And you're just like... And After 20 hours of gameplay, oh man, yeah. it destroys you, and it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> now, uh, how can people follow you online? You've got YouTube? Yes, uh, but I do recommend following my new Twitch channel. Oh, you're on Twitch, okay. Yes. So we'll have the details below um, and a banner. I don't just go like that banner there. Banner? Banner, <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, okay, so YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. Uh, and uh, and Google Plus and Twitter and Twitter. Um, now, just quickly, let's go back to uh, to graphic design. Um, in the past twenty four months, um, you you've been doing a number of artworks and 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 kept up your art. Um, what's changed in in graphic design? Uh, well, 
you know, I've spent a lot of time on Terraria. Uh, I've kind of put art uh, on the back burner a little bit for now. Uh, hence the <coughs> 8,000 hours. Yeah. Uh, it was a, that was a big decision for me because that could have all been in, like invested into Photoshop. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was a big, it was a big like, do I want to do this sort of thing? And then when I did uh, end up killing Wall of Flesh, I think uh, at about five to six hundred hours in, I was like, yeah, let's go the full way. I've gone this far now. I've got to do it. Yep. And um, yeah, because that. I thought that that was the end of the game, <laughs> but and then I got I found out that it was only like halfway, and I was just like, oh. but yeah. Um, back to art. Uh, there's a brand new program out that I've just seen. Uh, oh, what's it called? Um, so it's a competitor to Adobe. Yes, which is fantastic because now they're not dominating the market. It seems like, and the program itself looks. Phenomenal. I think you've sent me the link and we'll have the link come up below in the uh, description section for all the viewers uh, at home. I'll definitely be buying it, that's for sure, because it is a a one-time buy, unlike Adobe, where you have to subscribe every month. And you never actually own it. Yeah. uh, Yeah. Okay, no, that sounds great. So, yeah, viewers at home, you can check that out in the link below. Um, Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to say to the viewers at home? Um... I would like to give a big shout out to my roommates, uh, Ricky and Eddie, because they're mad dogs. Uh, they're supporting me and all that sort of stuff. They come in here and they just call me a hacker. And they tell me I'm bad. And yeah, they're awesome, I love them. And uh, yeah, big shout out to you as well, Mr. Goldie. And the community, of course, you've got a huge community of followers. Do you want to say hello to them real quick? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, big shout out to Sasha's fans. Thank you very much for making that uh, page it, or group. I mean, it was a, a big surprise when it did happen. I was just like, it was, it was at a time when I was quite low as well. So it really, really did help. Because um, you've got strangers, like people you've never physically met hundreds of people from around the world and they're all supporting you i know it's a big thing man and you know it's just that's what keeps me going it really does is um all these people believe in me yes and it's like well i can't let them down like you know what i mean like i have to just i've got to keep going i just have to keep i have to succeed so there's like thank you guys i really appreciate it um and as always, like if you do need help or anything, like just message me. I'll do my absolute best to help you. But if you give me grief, I'll roast you. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, once again, I would like to wish you all the best and say thank you again, John. It's been a pleasure. And we'll uh, have to interview you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're awesome.